Hey everyone and welcome to another terrible day in my ugly world. We're down in the basement here because today we're going to be building a couple of automated farms. This one here is going to be combination melon and pumpkin and this one over here will be the sugar cane. See I've already started digging this out. I've got the double chest for each to collect. Uh, normally, well you don't need necessarily need a double chest but I've just put that there just um, really just to save time and hassle uh, putting the hoppers along here to collect all the drops this one will actually be fully automatic once it's set up I won't have to do anything I'll just come and collect the items from the chest uh, if you want to build this at home this is going to be a let's play building tutorial type thing. You've got the chest here, then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. So seven all pointing in to the chest there. So that should go along all the way and end up in the chest. Beautiful. Right, this one on the other hand, I'm using sand for the sugar cane but really you can use dirt, they're much the same this, regardless of what other people say, everything I've read says that they, the sugar cane grows exactly the same uh, also you notice when I'm putting the hoppers down I'm crouching that's so that they go into the one over if you're not crouching and you click it you'll go into the hopper or go into the chest interface okay so this one over here I'm going to do the melon and the pumpkin so plant there leave one two spaces do another two so these will grow that one will grow there this one will grow there that one will go there and the one on the end will grow there and we'll do the same for the pumpkin seeds on the opposite side one, two, one, two. See, I can count. Uh, hopefully, I can count because I was getting everything ready to be put in there. And I just realized I didn't bring any bone meal down. So I might grab that. But I'll put these in first. Uh, if you don't know, you need water right next to the sugar cane for it to grow. So we've got a strip of eight sugar cane, eight water. I did the same trick. You just put the water in there, then they put water in there, and that fills in that line every second one along, and you get an infinite water source. Oh, and if you hear any mobs or anything, it's because we're right underneath the uh, collection for the mob farm upstairs. Okay, so that's that. That's going to start growing. I'm wondering if I should bone meal that now or not. I might wait and build the rest of this first. If I can remember how to build it. Um, okay, if I remember rightly. Okay, this is going to be difficult. I need that there. I don't need that. I do need these though. Pistons. The sticky piston goes straight up. This piston goes facing in. These two go facing in. Wait. This one faces up. That one faces up. And that's it. I don't need. Yeah, I don't need another one on the end there. Uh, I'm going to have to redo all these torches. Let's just put a couple of torches around here so nothing spawns if we're wandering around. Okay, same on this side. This is going to be a mirror image, so it'll be the same thing on both sides. And I just realized something I was going to do differently. Yeah, okay, I'll take these out and put these at the other end, because I'm going to do it... If I put them there, it's going to come out this way a bit. So I'll put these down this end. Uh, what was that? That was a sticky piston on the end there. Yeah, that's right, because the cauldron goes on top. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just trying to work out what I'm doing here. And this one needs a block on the end. 
this one needs a block on the end and I'll close this off because with these ones here they will grow on there I'm not sure if they grow on stone do they or if it's only dirt I might leave that open for now to see because I know it will grow on dirt if there's a dirt block next to it I'm not sure if it grows on the stone though okay so now what do I need I need to put the cauldron a cauldron of water on top of this block so put the cauldron there, fill it with water put the cauldron on this one and fill that with water sorry if I'm going a bit slow, I'm just trying to work out what I'm doing I'm doing this mostly from memory, I do have a couple of notes here but well to be honest they're not that good and my handwriting is also terrible okay so I need the this one going out this way I think it is yeah that's right and yeah, so this one will go that way beautiful okay, let me just put that there so I know where everything is okay what do I need next I need another block up here for that to go into <coughs> and I can get rid of that block underneath there do the same on this side yep alright so that's that block on next to that and I need to have blocks all the way down on this side I hope I'm doing this right wouldn't it be bad if I got through all this and I realized I don't know what I'm doing um, that block, do I need a block on the end there? oh that's right, there's a block that goes on top of that so that one's not there, that doesn't need it Okay, I do need to put redstone up here. So this redstone will go into that. And I'm just going to get rid of that block on top of it. What was it? This is the repeater now. Okay, so now we have a repeater going out here and then it will be redstone all the way along here and that's really it so now if any block when the water uh, the melon or the pumpkin grows it will set off the bud switch this is called a bud switch so that when there is a block update which is what bud means i think uh if i remember rightly bud is block update detector so whenever a melon or pumpkin grows anywhere along there it will set off all the pistons and knock them into the hopper and then they will go down and collect in there like that okay so now we just need to finish off this other side see it's very quick and easy this set up okay going down here All right that's that it really is a very simple and easy setup this and that's already grown there okay let's just get rid of it. I don't know where the spider is because spiders can't spawn in that maybe it's night upstairs that would be it, I think. Okay, that's there. This one goes here. I might have to get rid of some more blocks around here. They're annoying me. I don't think that block would have mattered, made any difference, but I just like to get rid of it just for the sake of um, appearance. And I really do have to clean up in this area down here. I mean, look at it. It's just well mostly the walls and the ceiling you see I've got a bunch of chests over there mostly for cobblestone ok 
Okay, I'm going to get rid of these. Uh, one thing I'm going to have to look at doing is um, the lighting. I'm not sure how the lighting is going to be affected here. Okay, now this one I need... How do I do this? Yes, I really know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, starting at the other end, it came out one there, there, and then just building along like this, like that. Okay, I'm 99% sure that's right, but we'll find out shortly anyway. I don't know if I need a block there. Wait. Oh, I hate that. That's what I was hoping not to do. Alright, there's that. Let's get rid of this for the moment and see what I need to do next. Um, okay, I need... Let's see, what was it? Redstone here. Into a repeater. Yeah, because the redstone block will go here. So the redstone there, or red repeater there, that there. Uh, then I need to do this couple of sticky pistons. That will be facing out there. This one will be facing out here. And we get the rest of the pistons set up. These ones don't need to be sticky. They're just there to knock the sugar cane down once it grows like that. And it is quite dark in there. So what I think I'll be doing is hanging some lights down from the ceiling to uh, fix that up. Alright, so the redstone blocks will be going there and there. Okay, and now I need this redstone signal needs to go into a block. funny. Right, then on top of that, what do I need on top of that? That should just be redstone, isn't it? Yeah, redstone on there, redstone on there, but then I do need more space up here. Okay, so now this should just be blocks all along here like this along the back okay I can get rid of this block down here okay did that set what is that? is that over there? I think we might have just collected some what am I doing? Okay, redstone all along the top here. This is actually going to be a very short episode, I think. I don't know how long I've been going. But that's actually it there. That side's already completed. Okay, this side we need to do the same thing up here. We need to get a bit more headroom. Yeah. Okay, so again with there and there. Get rid of that block down there. We don't need that. And you see that that sh um, sent that off too. We just put more blocks along here, and one more, and then we have the redstone all the way along, and that's it. That is completed. That is everything that needs to be done. It's all set up. It's fully functional, or it should be fully functional. Uh, we can test it. I have a couple here. Okay, so there it goes there. Sets that off. Anywhere along there, it'll set off. And they will go down into the hopper. No, into the hoppers and then into the chest. And that is it. Nice and simple. This one hasn't grown fully yet. I don't have any... Oh wait, there's... I got bones. Can I make bone meal with that? 
Where do I find bone meal? All right, bone meal. Let's bone meal these up. And let's do a bit more. Is that fully grown? Yep, it's fully grown. A uh, good thing about bone meal, if it's already fully grown, then you can't bone meal it anymore. It won't waste any bone meal. Which apparently is something my son didn't know. One of the few things, like he knows everything about Minecraft. He gives me lessons sometimes. And I'm not joking about that. He really does. He'll, if I say something that's like, No, Daddy, that's not right. It's like this. Right. Unfortunately, we can't bone meal these to make them grow anymore. But we can bone meal these. No. Oh, you can't bone meal. Okay, there you go. I just learned something. Wait, why is that there? I don't like that there. Alright, but that's it. That's really it for today. I've done the whole thing. Uh, if you have any questions or help with this, by all means, make leave a comment and ask. Uh, if there's something you think I did wrong, let me know. That one again. So you see, these are fully automatic. So whenever I'm logged on, I'm playing, they're going to be working. If it, if anything grows, it's going to collect it. And yeah, I don't know how efficient these are. And with the sugar cane, I will be you hear that? I heard something. Alright. I, I... Oh look, they just grew. Cool. How much? We already got six. Woo! So they're going to collect, fill up those chests. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get storage. But as I was saying, with the sugar cane, there is another more complex design out there. Uh, you see, there's a problem with this design. Sometimes they don't drop into the dropper. So there is going to be some loss. I uh, just don't know how much. But there's another design as I said. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention these designs I stole them. Well, I didn't steal them. I got them from Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, I think his channel's name is That Mumbo Jumbo. So look him up and you can see the designs, how he did it on PC. Uh, of course, this is the PlayStation version. Oh, we got another one. And um, the bigger one, I will be doing. I will build that some other time to get a lot more sugar cane because this can be used for potions and for trading. So I'll probably use a lot of the paper for trading, I think, and then potions. The melons will be for potions as well. The pumpkins just for collecting. Once I get a chest or a double chest of pumpkins, I'll probably stop growing them and use the... just put melons over there. They really look the same, don't they? I don't know how you tell the difference. Got mel I did plant pumpkins, right? Yeah. Because I only had four of each. Alright. I think that'll be it for today. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed it, Please subscribe and leave a comment down below. A comment about anything. It can be about this video, it can be about your week. Anything really. Ask me questions. I'll answer anything. Almost. Alright. Have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.